We're recording everything for the apprentices. Good morning. We're at our 8 o'clock Cadillac class with the ladies. Come join us. Watch this video anytime you like. All right, ladies, if you can all come standing to the front of your Cadillacs. We're just going to do a few simple stretches. You'll face your Cadillac, both hands on bars, same side as your body. I'll just pretend I'm doing the same thing. Your feet can go as close as you like to the Cadillac. We just don't want you to slip, so keep that in mind. If you feel that, we have mats, as you know, on your chairs. Round your body back and just let your back body get a stretch breathe in here and when you're ready to exhale just come forward we're going to repeat that a few times just going back you're rounding real simple you hopped in your car you got here now we're just going to stretch it out and again make sure you include a nice breath you can inhale in either direction but maybe exhale on the way up We'll repeat that. We're going to go for five total. And this time we're going to round back. And just like Tina was just dying to do, and I get it, we're going to come forward. As you come forward, slide your hands down the bar and lift your chest up and lean back. Now your hands are in a lower place. Be mindful. Go ahead and bring your chin to your chest. Round your body down and reach yourself back. Hi, Rebecca. With that nice stretched back, now that you're lower, you can feel it differently. Come forward. Reach your tailbone towards your nose. Keep your head low. Once you're up, open up your heart, just like Gina with all the hugs she gave us today at entering the studio. And then again, chin to chest, round yourself back. Go back, lean back, stretch out. As you come forward, bring your tailbone forward first towards your nose. Bring yourself forward. Then offer your heart and your head up as your chest opens. Nice. Come to a neutral position and step back. We're going to go from the side now. Gina, I'm sorry to turn myself to you, but just mo watch me. If everybody can face the back mirror, be at the back, the corner of the Cadillac that's closest to the front door. Line your big toe up to the corner of the bottom of the foot of the Cadillac. If you're not sure, just look at my foot. Sorry to be so far behind you. Then create a turnout that matches that position. Your right hand goes down on the lowest part of the bar that your arm can reach. Your left hand comes up and over and holds the bar with your hand in this position good job you can adjust where you hold on the bar but keep a nice grip very gently without changing position just lean out to the side stretching your side body and then come home we need three of those no twists no tilts just go out stretch that side body and come home one more time getting a nice stretch warming up your core warming up your mind and then coming home Switch to the other side. Repeat the setup. Does that make sense? So now turn to the other side. Left toe at the left foot of the Cadillac. Left arm low, right arm high. Typically your hands are like this. Lean out straight and then come home. Repeat. Real simple. No funny moves. Just straight out like a credit card slot and home. One more time and then home. Everything releases. Go back to the original side. Correct. So now turn yourself facing the back mirror. Line your toes up at the corners. It's so fun to hear what my cues say and what happens. Isn't that cool? Drop an arm down low. Pick that other arm up high, just like we set up on the first setup. You're trying to stay close to the Cadillac because it's going to give you the biggest bow in the safest position. As you bow out this time, then let yourself curl and twist your hips and look into your navel. Then come back up like a flat credit card and bring yourself home to neutral. Go again. You're just stretching out your side body, but then including your back body, breathing, coming back to that nice credit card slip and rising up. One more time. Out you go. Pull your navel back as you stretch that body. And then come home. Switch to the other side. Left arm low, right arm high. Hold so that you know you don't slide. Slide out. And as you slide out, let yourself rotate, rotating the hips, pulling into the upper abs. Then come home. Nicely done. Repeating. We're going to do three total. Let those hips move and then pull the rib cage back. Yeah, Tina. Get that nice yumminess out of it. Very good. Come home. Great work with your right leg. As you go out, last one, pull the ribs up and back to get that big stretch and then come home. Now return to facing forward or towards the mirrors, our very original position. Pick a hand position that supports you wherever it is and do one nice lean back. While you're back there, push your hips to the left or the right of the room, I'm sorry, and then over to the left. Back and forth, breathing in and breathing out. Let your head hang wherever is comfortable. 
Couple more, one to the right and one to the left. Coming forward, up, open your heart again. If your head goes back, keep a long neck. Then bring your chin forward into a nice neutral position. Everything good? Okay, a nice gentle warm up. We're gonna take our uh, half foam rollers and just push them further back on your Cadillac so that you know you're not gonna run into them. We're gonna have a seat down with a rollback bar or your breathing bar. Yeah, Gina, this is Sabra. She's gonna check us out. How are you this morning? Nice. Body's all good? Yes. Great, I'm gonna bring you into a position. Oh, okay. So when you're all ready, put your feet flat onto the bars. Take your breathing bar. Great, Sabra's gonna watch us, but if she needs to, every once in a while she'll come over and make sure you're safe. Yeah. She's gonna stand hip width apart, and her arms can do what she needs to to stay comfortable. She'll lock her knees and unlock them. Can you do the same right now? Can you lock your knees out and then unlock them? We all need to have a soft knee for this exercise. She's gonna do the same, but she's gonna stand just like this. Yeah, and you can adjust yourself in the room anywhere you want. Let your arms be relaxed. Okay. But this will be your stance for the remainder of the hour. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Yes. Like in what? You can. Yes. Okay. Yes, but you'll have to stay equal standing, no matter where you are in the room. Okay. Does that sound good? Yes. Yeah, and if I come and bump into you, you just make sure I don't hurt you. Okay. Okay. So if everyone could do this for me, I want you to feel your inner thighs squeezing together, but don't move your thighs. Right. Now pick up or lift your lift kit nice and high. Once you've got that, take a moment to just gently roll your shoulders back. From all that positioning, your spinal column should be long. Can you find some muscles by breathing right now, sitting nice and tall, that will help support your spine as if you didn't need that rollback bar? Right, lift your eyebrows, lift your chin. Setup is everything in classic Pilates. If you get the setup, the exercise will roll for you. Keep your feet on the bars. Gaze into your navel, creating the beginning of a C curve. Roll your pelvis backwards. Did you want this right here? No. Okay, great. Roll yourself back until you feel one vertebra from the hip onward touch the mat. Your head will come down last. Take your time. It's your body. Once you're down there, just feel your heels push back into the bar. Feel the back of your arms pull down. But more importantly, feel your upper abs activate and your lift kit is still on. Lift your chin to your chest. Roll yourself forward. Pull your shoulders backwards. Your head will come forward, forward of your hips and towards your knees. You should be rounded by the time you get there. Then articulate and sit up. As you articulate and sit up, drop your shoulders down. There wasn't a moment that a muscle in your body relaxed through the whole exercise. Let's try that again. Get your legs set. You have a triangle between them. Squeeze them. It could be foam, just like a foam toy at a pool. Press your arms down. Now you really are at the pool. Lift your spinal column up with your breath. As you're ready, gently just tip the chin a little bit. Now let the spinal column work you backwards. Roll your hips. Reach your heels. Roll your hips and spine. Squeeze your inner thighs. Roll your rib cage. Make sure your shoulders are still retracted. Head goes down. Once you're there, take your time. Feel the engagement. Upper abs down. Roll yourself forward. I know it's tempting to do some pulls, but don't do it yet. I promise we'll get there. Round yourself forward, resisting letting yourself coming off the bar or the mat, I mean, and come forward of your hips. Articulate and sit tall. Retracted shoulders. Pull arms. Lift tall, repeat, roll the hips. Lengthen the spine, reach through the heels. Once you're down and take your time, everyone's different. Now bend your elbows and draw them into the side of your rib cage as snug as you can get them. Did everybody feel their elbows go wide? Can you feel your rib cage now? Cindy, good job. Gina, good job. Everybody this way, tuck those elbows back in. Yes. Straighten your arms deliberately but slowly. You're still pressing downward as your arms straighten. Once that happens, bend again right into the edge of your rib cage. Bend the elbows, we're gonna do three times, stay down, and slowly resist. Use the back of your arms. Straighten your arms back up, Casey, and pull straight wrists. Uh-huh, you know, this is what you've got going on? Can you do this? Oh, oh, and then straighten your arms. Once your arms are straight, roll your head forward in front of your hips. Command your spine into length. <laughs> I saw all that. And then articulate and sit yourself up tall. Good, we have to repeat it. We've got five total to do. Stack just the way I set you. Yes. As you roll, keep your heels against the bar. 
Yeah, what would that take? What do you have to do with your tailbone? How far between your legs does it have to reach so your feet don't slip away? Yeah, there is just no room for you to be lazy in the exercise, although it is tempting. Once you're down, and Gina, put your waist down, not your abs out, but behind you. You're arcing, yeah, there you go. Now you get to do that lovely wide one. Elbows press out to the side. Now here's a new rule with me. If your elbows are out to the side, they are as high as your shoulders, but your shoulders are down. Right, so there's no room for low elbows. Mm -hmm. Now anchor your abs on the mat now, and slowly resist your arms to straight. You get three of those. Lift kids still on, bend wide and high, chin is easy, abs are anchoring onto the mat, and again, bend wide and high, push through the heels, squeeze the inner thighs, resist with the arms until they come straight, and take your time, articulating, peeling yourself off the mat as you go. Head and shoulders in front of hips, pressing down on the bar. Articulate and sit tall. Find that nice posture again. Beautiful. As you're ready, roll back. Find your journey with this exercise. Think about something that worked for you. Once you're there, press your arms straight down towards your thighs and slowly resist them as they come back up. Press them straight down to your thighs. Shoulder blades together. Resist them as they come back up. One more time. Press and resist. Take your time. Lift your chin. Roll yourself forward. Reach through your spinal column. Rounding. Articulate up to seated. Finish off so you have that nice flourish within your body. And then gently let the bar go. Relax your body. Wiggle and adjust yourself in any way you like. You'll be spinning around. Your heads will be here. We're going to put the straps on our feet and we're going to go through some leg springs. Couple little things while you guys are getting set up to put your leg springs on. You can choose your position. The closer your hands and head are to the bar, the more you're going to have a nice straight up classic. The further away you are, the more you're going to have an advanced classic. You'll need to make a decision based on where you want to be. Put your feet into the straps. In classic, there's never an exercise, and I'm cataloging right through like 500, 2,000 exercises in my mind right now, where when we're doing this exercise, our spinal column arcs off the mat. There certainly is advanced legs in the air, so some of you may know that, but there's never a point right now where your rib cage will allow my hands to slide under it. I'll come by and check. With your hands onto the bars, I need everybody to put their thumbs with their fingers. No grips with the thumb. If you grip with the thumb, you just get your jaw involved. You're going to watch me if you guys all peek. Rebecca, I think where your hands are were perfect. Tina, you're pretty close to perfect. Do you see how I've lifted her hands higher? I want to do that because in between my fingers, I want Casey to press into my fingers until she comes into a right angle position. Now she's going to drop her shoulders down her back and maintain that. If that all works, this muscle group fires, which is the back of the arms. I like that. Do you like that? Yeah. Then what, that idea, I need the rib cage on the mat, the rest of the exercise group, but she's still going to be able to breathe because her lungs are not here. They're up here. Bend your knees into your chest. I'll come by and do some tactile touches if you need them. We're going to just check in with Sabre real quickly. Body okay? It's not an easy stance, so if you need to, you can always wiggle in between, but you come right back up. Don't hesitate to change anywhere you want in the room so you can get different angles on what you see. Okay, so with your abs anchored, your hands in this gripped position, but no thumbs around the bar, press your legs out long to a place where you know you can keep your back down. Yeah, Rebecca, can you put your bottom back down and put your legs up higher? Yes. So here's a really good position. It's a teaser position, correct? With your legs squeezed together, I want you to lift them up, oh, three to six inches. Then you can press them out, but no wider than the Cadillac. Draw with the back of your inner thighs downwards and squeeze your legs back together. Once they're back together and low, is your ab on the mat? Beautiful, Casey. And then resist the springs up. Don't let them pull you up. That was one. Did you hear how slow I went? Okay, so now you're going through butter. Go up a few inches, 
out, down and around. Use your thighs, your inner thighs to squeeze together and the back of the thighs to resist up. Easy peasy, right? You are all so well trained. Here goes number three. Try to stick with me. I'm so cruel about the tempo I keep. Legs go down and you resist up. You'll get a workout either way. As you continue on that resistance, can you keep your tailbone long shooting for the mirrors? As you're separating, you're keeping a turnout. You're coming down and around with unlocked knees, squeezing your inner thighs together and resisting the spring up. That's only four and we have to go to eight. Rebecca, what number are you on? I'm coming for you. Good answer. Go up and around, then out and down and squeeze together. I'm gonna introduce to you a term that I love, ready? As you go up, we're carving a heart. As you go out, you're at the top of the heart. As you come down, you're squeezing the bottom of the heart, and then you're gonna split that heart in two and share it with me, slowly resisting up. Imagery, carve a heart. I have a whole series based on hearts and diamonds. I just introduced you to your first heart in my series. One more time and we'll assume we're on eight. Once your legs are up, bend your knees in, relax everything, check in on your body. Sometimes holding that hand position is too much. If that's true, you just make sure you're close to the bars and you put your arms down beside you. The exercise can work similarly. Arms get set back up as you're ready, roughly a right angle, squeeze the elbows towards each other, anchoring the abs. Now we're gonna do the reverse carve of the heart. Pilates is about sculpting, that's why you're creating this tempo. Press your legs out low at the bottom of the heart, heels together. Now separate them up and out to the side of the Cadillac, come up and over and down into the top of the heart and squeeze. Repeat, go slowly down at the center, Carve through your hip sockets. Keep your tailbone long. Up and around and center. Engage the inner thighs. Press down. Long pelvic floor. Anchored hips. Pelvis in neutral. Uh-huh. Down we go. Beautiful. Anchor here. Lengthen there. Did you feel how we just snuck an inch out of you? Yeah, I'm totally into those inches. <laughs> Right, okay, so you felt that anchoring. That's kind of what you're looking for in your body. Repeating. Does Gina know what number we're on? No. Good answer. I'm gonna be here with you. Let's say we have at least two more. Pull away from my arm here. Keep that anchored and go. Anchor. How about one more, and if you're not on eight, you make yourself get to eight and then come home. When you're finished, bend your knees in, let your arms down, wiggle your shoulders, wiggle your head and neck. Pretty straightforward, leg springs. I'm just cleaning them up so that you can feel sculpting coming out of your hips. Hands go back onto the bars. Reset yourself up. That's the beauty of classic. We're setting you in a place where you can repeat it. We're gonna do what's called walking. This is really petite. We'll see how it goes and then maybe I'll alter it. Bending your knees into your stomach, anchor your back, set your arms, press your legs out high. You want some engagement, but not a ton. I'm gonna model over here on Casey just so you can see it real quickly. We're gonna take half a step down, and then we're gonna take another half a step down. Yes, follow me if you like. We're gonna do six steps. This very first set is very plodding. Now pause. See how close the feet are the whole time? Yes, now we're gonna walk up one foot at a time up only six steps. It's a very controlled move. What are we using? The back, upper, inner thigh, not our necks. I'm gonna let go, Casey, and hopefully you go back to center. There you go. Let's try that again. So can you use your back, up, inner thigh to draw the foot down half a foot, then the other foot? As you go and you get six down, your abs should still be anchored. Then as you walk back up, same concept. Not complicated, correct? Great, keep using those inner thighs. Now go down and see if you can reach your legs longer than they already are. So you get out of the front of the hip and then you walk yourself back up, still anchored in your core. Easy necks. Bend your knees in and then relax. Relax. 
So we'll go from here. Yummy, 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 right? I love those. They really sculpt and shape the heart of your bottom. If you can find the journey, and you'll have time with me if you have classes with me to do that. Hands go back up. Now we get to do beats. Everybody like beats? Yes. Okay, stick with me on these then. We're gonna do them in three settings. So set up your upper body, press your legs out to where you wanna be for the first set of beats. My counting's pretty good, not great, so don't be mindful of me. Do your own thing if you need to. Do not open your legs wider than the Cadillac bars. Do you see them up above? Okay, so keeping that snug. When you're ready, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, 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 pause. Squeeze your legs together. Now as they're squeezed, unlock your knees, anchor your abs, draw your legs down just a little further. We don't want it to be the back of the knees. Now stay with me. Go all the way to the edge of the Cadillac, inner thighs, squeeze closed. Push out, squeeze in. You're in a pool, push, pull. Another thought, you're reaching your toes into sand. Push, pull, push, pull. Two more, assuming I'm right. Once you're there, squeeze your legs together. Don't let them go. You have a turnout. Now lower your legs yet another setting. Anchor your abs. And off we go. Open, close. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Hold. Squeeze them together. Not with the knees, but in your thighs. Hoo-ha, pull up. Bend your knees in. Relax your arms down. Yeah, do wiggle. All wiggles are welcome. Now we'll do bicycle. It's a very reckless exercise. <laughs> It might look funny. Do you guys know babies on a changing table? Yes. Okay, it's going to look a lot like that. <laughs> Number one thing is you always need to keep your knees safe. That's true in pretty much every exercise that your feet are attached to something here in the studio. But mindful, the springs have that slingshot thing. Sometimes you guys do the Z stretch, right? Pretty racy. That's a really racy stretch. So this is less racy. I need the springs to stay on the inside of the thighs. I need you to stay anchored. Don't arc your back for length. We're going to ride one of those big, ridiculous bikes that has the giant, giant wheel and you're really high up. Does that make sense? Okay, so those legs really have to reach, but the abs can't go with them. They have to pull away in opposition. When you're ready, press your right leg up to the ceiling. Reach it out as long as you can. If you touch the mat, that's totally cool. As the leg gets to its furthest point, then the other one goes up, and the right one, the first one, returns home. Reach out as far as you can. Challenge the springs to make you reckless like a baby on a changing table, but yet your abs are the table. Bend the knees as you pull one leg in. Reach the legs out and push the knee to straight as you go out. Just simple biking. Go, sculpt, lengthen, bend, reach. Then plot your reverse. Go through the inner thigh. Draw it to the sit bone, either foot. Reach it out long, resist it up, and alternate. Always changing direction at each leg's furthest opposition. Nicely done. Breathing, reaching, sculpting, elongation, stable pelvis. As you're ready, both legs come up to the ceiling, bend your knees in, let your arms come down. Bicycle's fun because it's asking your pelvis to shake and move, and you get to resist that. Hands go back up, and we'll go into a frog. Once your hands are back up in the position, heels are together, knees are bent in. Try to pick a lower position that you're comfortable with, with your heels together. Press your legs out long. Keep everything anchored. And then resist back in. It's a plie, correct? Pressing out. Long spine, long pelvis. Bend in. Just let the knees bend. Eight total. As you elongate out, your upper abs anchor and your neck has a nice arc in it. As you press out, you can breathe into your lungs and your upper abs stay on the mat. We're somewhere near five. You're taking yourself to eight. Thumbs with fingers. Two more times. Check that you're not pressing behind your head or neck. Abs flat. One more time. Let your legs go out and stay out. 
Then slowly ride the spring to the ceiling. Let your legs relax. Let your hip sockets relax. Let your legs now go out to the side. If you're so long you would touch someone else, be mindful of their bodies. Safety is where that shared responsibility lies. Beautiful. As you're ready, you can bend your knees in. Maybe use the straps to pull on to give yourself an extra stretch in your spine. And then bend your knees in, release the straps, and let go. As we're ready, we're going to come up to a seated position. I'd like to set us up for the push-through bar. That's this upper one, Gina. I'm not sure how much you know about the equipment. We're going to take this down. And then, Cindy, what spring do we set the push-through bar on? Uh, one red. One red, OK. Our foot bars will have to move. Do you mind getting the one red spring on over here? Yep, bring it up and over. On this. Yep, and then let's put it through Down. this way. That's okay. okay. And then we're going to take this piece and we're going to lift it up and over. Okay. Correct. You're right, and just let that one hang. Mm -hmm. Great, nice job, everybody. All good? Okay. Now, we're going to do the push through bar. That's what this is called. It's a stomach massage, rolling in and out. There's a few ways it's called. So forgive all your teachers with every name they have on them. It's just the way it is in Pilates. With your legs forward, back to that push through p position here. Rebecca's got a nice setup going. We're going to do basically the rollback bar that we did before, but I'm going to ask for a little bit of deliberateness. And we're prepping ourselves for a teaser, so that's our journey where we're going with this. Your hands will go onto the bar. I don't know about you, but I kind of like to push it up and push my feet away so I can see, well, what's puckering? What inside my body just needs some movement? Once I have that, then I'm going to retract my shoulders down and press into the mirror if you can, and that's where we get those pool arms fired up. Roll your body backwards, chin in, chest back, hips back, and stay in the deepest round you can and hold the position. Great, now there's this moment where the bar is going to try to resist you, and that's the beauty of the rollback bar. Pause. Does everybody have their shoulders behind their collarbones? Right. Can you get your head and neck in front of your chest? Can your upper abs pull back so far in this position you can actually lift up and back? Did you feel that sensation? Now push your feet away. Right, feel that up and back. Now push your heels away. At the same time, push through your heels. Right, Casey, yes. Now continue to press the bar all the way down towards your feet. Don't let your shoulders come up. Find your way forward with straight wrists, head aiming for the bar. Now, as you pass your toes, be careful. Do not squish them. Keep your thumbs around the bar. Nice. That's your safety position. Roll yourself backwards. Start with your hips. Resist the bar, so keep pushing against it. Push against your heels. Toes stay on the bar. Once you find yourself all the way back, don't let the bar pop. Let yourself push the bar up as high as you can. Lift your back up with it. Lift your spine up with it. See how high you can grow. Lifting the chest, lifting the low pelvis. Retract the shoulders. Plot your return. Round your body back. Use Pilates muscles. No jaw muscles, no neck muscles. Armpit muscles, yes. Straight wrists drive you through. They're going to want to bend. Don't let them. Stretch yourself as far forward as is reasonable, but now right while you're here, bend your elbows wide to the side of the room, letting the bar come to the crown of your head. Exhale, hollow your stomach out and push the bar back away towards the mirror. Beautiful. Bend again. Use the slow tempo to organize your muscles. Push away. Are your wrists straight? Such a strange concept. Three times total till your arms are straight. Then slowly round backwards. Push the bar forward as you go backwards. Come all the way back up. Yeah, always look around the studio if you're not sure what my cues are saying. Totally logical. Somebody will probably be doing what we want to do. Press your chest forward. Lift your spine upward. Push your heels away. Can you feel the stretch in your low back? Not just your armpits. Retract your shoulders. Round your spinal column. Use your Pilates muscles to create a giant C, capital C. Don't break your wrist, Tina. Oh, press down. Use your abs. Beautiful. 
Stretch forward, bend your arms if you choose, or come back home as you choose. Hollow out into your back. If you bend your arms, you do it three times, and then you come home. Great, Tina, you've got it so close, but can you lift up more? Yeah, making it more about where the muscle tone stays connected. We've got three here. Go ahead and rock back, round back, lengthen back, press your arms down, and then press your arms back up. Push as high as you can. Beautiful. Now return the bar to a neutral position. Zip your legs together, release the bar. Excellent. You're going to roll down and roll back up for a roll up. Lying back, articulate one vertebra at a time. Right, it's the same exercise. Reach your arms overhead. No karate chops. Find your way up. Set yourself back up with the bar. Feet go up to the sidebars. Hands go up to the top bar. So now we're going to take your body. Your right arm's going to stay on. Your left arm's going to get to have some movement. So as you press the bar down and you round back, I need you to swing and open yourself up and look across the room. Pause there. Can you feel as if you're a plane? Press both arms down. Lift your neck up. It's the nose of the plane. Don't crash. Then come back forward and push up, lift up, be up. Check with your feet and hips. They didn't move. Press the bar down, roll back, release the right arm, look across the room, fly. You are long. Lengthen your spine, push your right leg away, come on home, and reach up. Push the bar up, pull the bar down, release the left arm, feel the grace within your body and the movement, and then rise back up. On an upward movement, it's usually an inhale. On a downward movement, it's typically an exhale. How does that feel? <laughs> Yummy. Come on back up. We have one more set. Use your breath in a way that works for you. Use the bar so that you're toning your arms, sculpting your abs. Forward and up. Last side. Pull the bar. Roll the spine. Reach the arms. Fly. Rise back up. Excellent. And then relax. Zip your legs together. Reach your arms out in front of you. Roll yourself back. Yet another roll up. Such a great way to get out of our hip flexors as our arms reach. Hands come back to the ceiling. You inhale. Lift up. Nice moves. And then relax. Couple clues. On the rise of a roll up at any time, any exercise, things aren't going well. Whatever you do, do it symmetrically. So either both hands grab both thighs, both hands push off the mat if you're going to go that way, both hands karate chop. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to do any sort of variation, I'm cool with it because you're keeping yourself safe and I trust your intuition about your body more than I trust my intuition about your body. So you, if you're going to do something odd, do it symmetrically. Right, because then you get the same development and you won't cause yourself a long-term issue that's just based on a flash moment in your brain. Totally normal, right? Yeah, right? In the car when you're looking for something and the purse is over on the right-hand side and it's super heavy, what do we all do? We grab it anyway and then schlep it out of the car instead of walking gorgeously over to the other side as if we are the valet for our own purse and opening up the door and picking it up symmetrically. Okay, so just hear that kind of humanness. We are human. Let's start practicing our teaser. We're going to do it with the push-through bar. So you're using your core. Right now, I need no one to let their feet touch the mat. So bend your knees in and lift your feet up. Use your hands carefully to spin yourself around. Feet do not touch anything. Your hands can spin you around. Just do it symmetrically. Yeah. I'm big on transitions because then you're working out the whole time. When you're ready, lie yourself down all the way. We need to see where our position should be. Yep. Good Good job. Your feet can be bent, your feet can be flat, your legs can be long. We need our position so that we have the chest underneath the bar. We're going to find out if this matches a true Cadillac in terms of the Pilates grats versus balanced body. I don't know. We're going to find out. So use your core, right? I don't want you to lunge with one arm or the other. Can both arms come up and get the bar? Oh, yeah. You get to already exercise just getting the equipment. Isn't that correct? 
Yes, isn't that nice to have someone in the studio to help us? I think, to, do we need anybody else? Okay, good job. Now, with your legs, you can start this one with your feet flat. This is just a pretty standard setup. Now, if you feel advanced or you want to advance, your legs go long. We're going to bend the elbows wide to the side. We practiced that already today. And then right here I say, oh, this is a funny setup, so we're going to change. You're in a really good position. So do you see how far back her head is? So maybe it's right to the bars here. Can you guys all slide your heads to there? Yep. And I bet I'll find out why, and we'll talk about what happens next. So with your legs squeezed together, you're bringing the bar to you. In classic Pilates, you want that bar so close to your nose, you have to rotate your head to make sure you don't get squished. So rotate your head to the right. Push the bar over your head and towards the mirror. Right. That's how snug it needs to be. And that's when you know you're in the right spot. Yes, and everybody's different. Now, keep your head, come to center with it, bend it the other way. Did you hear the symmetry I just talked about? Then bend your elbows wide to the side, let the bar come through without a pop, and push it back to the ceiling. Okay, so these preps are to check for something. Once you're up to here, your upper abs should be on the mat. Your hands are shoulder width apart, whatever you think that is, or wider if you tend to get tense in your neck and jaw. Uh, pick your leg position, bend your elbows wide to the side of the room, see if you can get your arms to the mat. So right here, can the back of the arms touch the mat? Tina, can you put your elbows wide? Yes, high. Here, watch me, this way. Yeah, okay, now right in that position, they need to touch the mat. Everybody got that? Good work. Okay, so then rotate your head if you need to. Push the bar over your head. Straighten your head as you go. Now rotate to the, head to, the, to the other side. Bend your elbows wide. And then come back through. Keep your abs down. We're going to do one more of those. It's not fast. You don't want it to be easy. You want it to be deliberate. If you're not sure, squeeze your inner thighs. Keep your feet anchored. Pass. Ribs stay anchored. Come back through. When your arms are straight on this time, keep your legs exactly where they are. Lift your chest up, push the bar up, lift yourself up, sit up. Keep your feet anchored wherever you started. Put your feet or legs wherever you started. Now stay here with me. Push your chest forward, but pull your abs backwards so it's not a back bend. Slowly roll yourself down. Just be patient with where you put your legs. It gives you choices. Articulate your spine, but push the bar up. Yes, put the spine down, but keep pushing the bar up. I love the way your mind thinks. This is so fun. So you get to roll down, but you're still pushing the bar up as you go. Yeah, and it gives you a way to get into your core and out of your neck. Go all the way down, bend your elbows to the side, reach your arms overhead. Nice job, Casey. What a great smile she did with all those corrections. Uh-huh. Now, pick an idea in your mind where you want your legs to end up. Whatever it is, own it. Bend your elbows wide. You heard me say teaser prep. These were all the preps. Your arms go straight. You can choose what you want to do with your legs now. Go ahead and lift your chest up. Push the bar up. Be up. Stay up. Now that you pick that position, I need you to push your chest further forward. Further forward. Keep your legs where they are. Further forward. And now take your time and slowly roll down from your center outward. Find the length. Find the coordination. Right, and find the choreography that allows your body to sculpt and be graceful at the same time. Bend your arms wide, reach your arms overhead. This one I'm going to ask for more, so be cautious with your legs. Pick them, bend your elbows to the side, upper abs active. Good job avoiding your nose. Reach your arms up, lift your chest up. Rebecca, great patience. Right, so now that you're nice and lifted and your chest is further forward, bend your elbows super wide to the side of the room. As you press up, lift up higher. Push your head in front of the bar. Push your chest in front of the bar. Two, bend wide, keep yourself in front of the bar. Reach up. One more time, bend your elbows wide if you can. Push your chest up as you go. Now, slowly roll down. Reach and lengthen as you go. Bend your elbows wide to the side. Now we have to do the dismount. Reach your arms overhead, anchor your abs, think long thoughts, be long thought. Bend your elbows wide, lift your chest up, lift your legs up, everybody into a teaser. Nice and high, reach your arms further. Depending on how the equipment goes, you have to be in front of the bars because now you need to release symmetrically both hands forward into a teaser. 
Yes, and so it's just telling you, did I use everything I can find in the exercise? What do I get to do the next time I work out with Lisa in this exercise? Take your time and roll yourself down gracefully, lovingly. Stretch your arms long, wiggle, maybe fire one butt cheek and then the other. Rock it all out. Everybody healthy and happy? Yeah, your patience with me is so appreciated. I know how much it, hard it is to hold back a thoroughbred. <laughs> okay, so then keep that in mind. You are a thoroughbred. Hold yourself back, hold yourself back, hold yourself back, and the day you want to go to the races, that's when you let it go. Okay? As we're all ready, now this is tricky because I'm going to ask for something kind of big. It's swan, basically, with the bar. I bet Cindy can help us model. If you could rise up for me, turning around. This is complicated because we need to get this bar down to here while we're lying on our stomachs. Thank you. So the blue from the other day is somewhere mysteriously hanging out on your machine. Usually it is here. This is your blue, even though it doesn't look blue. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so when you hook your red, make sure you have to hold your bar and push it the long way. Thanks, Tina. Right. So hook up the blue first and then drop the red. Also, a reminder that this is the most dangerous thing in the room. So when you come to pull that bar on or it, do not do the pretty open hand. If that bar gets away from you, it's going to be a or worse. Your face. Yeah. Okay. So, like I was saying, the complexity. She's got her hand wrapped around the bar, thumbs with it. How awesome is that? She's going to find a way to lower the bar down and get onto the Cadillac. Did you see the grace with which she did that? And that was all core. You just did all that teaser work. This should work out. Be very mindful of your face. Once we're down there, I need everybody to find this position. So place a hand on the bar. Find yourself low. Cindy's got her legs nice and wide. You can choose that. That's really nice on the back. Can you stay with her just to make sure it all goes well? There we go. And you're going to get a chance to adjust this. Really, it's your arm length. Now, if your legs are wide, it gives your low back a chance not to be too angry with you. Rock your hips just a little bit in this position to unpack any tension in your pelvis. If you wanted classic, your heels would be touching, your toes would be apart. You can choose. Stay here in this downward position. Try to lift your abs up and off the mat. Correct. Keep your heads low. Right. Did everybody hear that? When I asked for your abs up and off the mat, a lot of you lifted your head. It's so f interesting, isn't it? So we'll stay nice and low. Your breasts are on the mat. But in the hollow between your breast and your hip bone, there's nothing on the mat. Nicely done. Bend your elbows wide to the side, letting the bar come to the crown of your head. Now press it back away, driving your knuckles into the mirror of the wall. Correct. Then when you bend again, keep the knuckles driven into the mirror of the wall. Bend the elbows wide. Find out what that does into your body. Tighten your waistline. Tighten your upper abs as you press away. This is three preps. Just keep a hand on the bar right now. Yeah, just to make sure it guides constantly. Just don't hold it or resist it. Let her move it. Yep. Good. Two more times. You might be a little bit overdone on it. Maybe three to five. Once you get that fifth one or the third one done and you've got straight elbows, straight wrists, knuckles over the bar, go ahead now. Lift your head up. Lift your chest up. Keep your arms straight. Press into the bar and pull the bar to you as you lift. Keep your elbows straight. And then slowly lower yourself back down. Nice. When you pull the bar to you, it's more an idea or concept than a motion. Bend your elbows wide to the side. As you press your knuckles back to the mirror, hollow out your abs. Inhale, lift your head up, keep your arms straight, lift your back up, arms stay straight. Good, you're just pulling the bar to you with straight arms. Now lengthen your spine down and slowly lower down. One more time, breathe in, bend the elbows. Exhale, press the arms to straight. Inhale, lift yourself up, bring your whole spine where it can go. And then exhale, lower down. So getting into the exercise is complicated. Getting out of it is also complicated. You can slowly release one hand, keeping one hand on the bar. Slowly let it come up as you use your left hand to push yourself backwards. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, in lots of different ways. And then sit back into a rounded position or child's pose. Thank you. 
all feel good? Yay! We're doing great. Let's take our push through bar and we're going to bring it down so that we can do a tower position. So we need to add a spring from a low position to this inner piece. They're the same, right? No, you got a blue and a red. Which do you usually set up for a tower or monkey? I'll take either. Red. But, red. Um, what's going to happen? Because my cleaner didn't put the mats on right. I just noticed that. So you're going to stand off the machine towards the front door. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to lift it up and pull your flaps out. Mmm. So those flaps out. You got that, Rebecca? Yeah. And then push it back. Hold on real quick. And make sure it's down. Maybe, have you seen her do it this way? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Let me ask a quick question just so I get this right. We're going to use the, the flap up this way. Yeah. Okay. We have these little plastic covers on the bottom that do that for us just because okay. it's different. Yeah. Because okay. it doesn't have this nice padding. Once you're spinning off the top, she so doesn't want to spin on the top. You're going to hold that bar down. There's your spring down here. Look into the bottom and keep tension on it. So I do it from this side. Good job. And then, okay, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yes. There we go. And then we still need this safety piece, oh, just like you were thinking. Yeah. Usually, when we do the bottom bar, there's the safety. Always. Oh, oh, this is tough to do. Preloaded. Yeah. I got it. I had it on there. Yeah. There we go. Oh. That's tight. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me if I coughed into the video. That must have sounded horrible to their ears. Yeah, make a note in the beginning of the thing. Okay, so who knows Monkey and Tower? Great. Great. Okay. It's a delicious kind of end of the session stretch. Takes a little time to set it up. We did safety, so the first piece are these pieces. After that, really nothing's going to happen to you. But you do have to keep yourself safe in terms of don't overstretch. It's tempting to overstretch. Think about what do I have to do today? Where do I need to leave my pelvis today? Whatever that is, you need to succeed because it's a shared responsibility. We want you to come back and that's how you get to come back. Right, so it's a relationship. When you're ready, watch your head. Cindy, did you have something you wanted to say? No, I was just, I was just double checking. Okay, and keep, keep interspersing. Oh yeah, we're the same. We're little uh, Pilates soul sisters. Yeah. So when you're ready, we're going to lower our heads underneath the bar, but you need to make sure you don't hit your head on your way. And believe me, it happens a lot. You want to lower your head so the bar is just over your neck. We call that a guillotine. Right, so that really helps you line yourself up. It's almost always that way, correct? You don't have any other adjustment there? I have one thing to say. Good. We love it when she tells my us things. says I have found my soulmate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know right? my soulmate in Pilates. Right, I right. Right, it goes both ways. <laughs> yeah, that's why it is a mating. It's a good thing. It's great for all of us, just so you know. Not just for you or for me, but for all of us. So now your hands need to go on shoulder width apart, and you need to do the fancy trick of pushing that bar up and getting your toes onto the bar. Now, a lot of us have Pilates socks. Those really give you the grip that you need when you don't have a pad. When you have your feet in their viscous and you don't have socks on, be mindful, you could accidentally slip. If you need a pad and you want to feel safe on there, we can add that in, okay? Always, anytime, any day. Keep your feet with the heels apart and you're almost like chest width apart. Does that make sense? Great. Now press your arms down beside you. Your toes are now in charge of that bar and your legs ought to be parallel. That means you need at least eight toes on the bar. Straighten your legs up, lengthen your tailbone out towards my voice or the mirror. Then bend your knees. As your knees bend, keep your abs contracted, keep your tailbone long. That's the trick. Don't let it curl. Straighten up again. Keep the back of your pelvis on the mat and only bend your knees to where you can keep your tailbone straight. Beautiful. One more time, press up. 
Now stay in this position. Take your arms to the outside of the springs and onto the bars. Once you have that position, do not adjust your body in any way other than putting your hands where you just found them. Active hands. You put thumbs with fingers here. Draw those elbows back in. Do you remember how I taught you that in the beginning? Use your upper abs. Very slowly now, lift that tailbone and push that bar up. Lift your back up one vertebra at a time. When the bar goes up and meets the bar up near the Cadillac top, bend your knees down to you. Keep your bottom up high. With control, press your legs back up high. Keep the pressure off your neck. Take your time here and roll your spine down, pushing the toes away, pushing the arms away, lengthening the waistline in between. Tailbone comes all the way down. Bend your knees in. Press your legs back up. Lengthen yourself up. Try to just hear some of those gentle cues. Roll your spine down, even though you may know something differently. Right, because now you practice using those auditory skills. Bend your knees, and that will keep you safe in our studio so that you can come back another time. We ask it, and I demand it. Mm -hmm. Straighten your legs. Lift your tailbone up. Roll your spine up. Active arms, eyes straight ahead. Bend your knees down to you while your bottom is high. Straighten your legs back up again and roll your spine down. Now, if you choose, you can have one more time with this. If you've had enough, we've already done three. That's usually the normal amount. If you need one more, you go chase it. Beautiful work. Now we have to figure out how do we get out of here. You're going to release your hands. You're going to reach your hands up to the bar with your knees bent in. Release your legs down. Lengthen them out. Release the bar down. Let your arms down. Let your body relax. Stay there for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in. Afford yourself the gratitude of a long, supple spine. You brought it here. You did the work. You get to leave and take it with you. It will be with you all day long. Then take another breath in and notice how you worked with everyone in the studio so that you could stay focused on your program. Gratitude for the community that you're building with everyone else. You cannot do it alone. And then for me, for you, for us, a big breath in and gratitude for Cindy for being here for decades so that we can all jump onto the train when we're ready. Take all that gratitude, bundle it into your heart, and remember, I just taught you the beginning of the hearts and diamonds. Have a great day. <laughs> nice. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Come again. Don't hesitate. Good work. We're going to do a little cleanup. You'll use this. And here's a spray bottle. Does anyone else need a cloth? Cloth. Color coded to match our outfits. Oh, no, you'll, wait, no, yep. And Rebecca's got one. Good. Yes. I'm a jeweler, and I make shorts with diamonds. 